video I want to talk about customizing the email. An email that, that defaults with the, the script is pretty basic and if we, you know, if we just run that script quickly we should see uh, a ton of emails come through here in a second. Here we go. Uh, and you can see it's pretty basic, it's just a couple of lines of text uh, and a you know, basic hint on how to change your password. So uh, I've broken the email section out into another uh, tab as usual. So what I've done up here is I've uh, defined a couple of variables. I've got uh, a link there that goes to a Windows 7 document of changing your password. Uh, I've got some images here uh, and I've got an attachment that I want to uh, send which is a password policy PDF. So firstly uh, the thing to note is that the body of the email is actually just HTML and it will accept any HTML commands that you want to throw in there. Uh, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to uh, add in uh, an image uh, and that's very simple it's just using the image source tag uh, and we'll actually use image one on this one which is uh, hosted on an internal file server. So we'll just run that uh, and we'll see that uh, this message has come through and we have our image in there. If we wanted to use an image that's hosted externally we can just use the uh, image2 variable that I've defined. We'll run that and that will come through in a second. There it is. Uh, and you can see we've got a different image there. Now let's assume we want to attach our uh, policy here. So we'll just use the attachments uh, attribute on the send mail message command and we'll ping that through and with any luck that will appear in a second with our password policy attachment. There it is. So uh, we're also we're going to put in our uh, help link here. So we're just going to add in uh, to there and we'll put that on a new line so we'll put in a break uh, okay and then we'll send this and we'll just wait for PowerShell to do its thing there it comes so we've got our link here and that's going to take us over if we click on that to uh, a Windows 7 guide on changing your password the last thing I wanted to talk about was embedding uh, an image inside the email so as you can see here we're defining image 2 uh, as an external image that we want it to download but if we change that to uh, the name of the file so we're going to use the, the first one uh, so we'll change that to haha.jpg and uh, what we'll do is we'll attach uh, image as well as policy just by putting a comment in there and then we'll send that and what we should see is that the image is attached to the message and then embedded so we don't have to worry about whether the image is accessible uh, when the client receives it. So then we have to put this all together uh, and what we can do is we can take our uh, variables up here and we can paste those into our uh, settings at the top so that's something we may want to change later so just paste those in here and then what we'll do is we'll amend uh, the message body like that down here just move it over a little bit uh, and then uh, if we need to add in attachments The last thing I need to show you is probably the most important thing uh, to remember when you're editing the email body is if you're adding in uh, custom HTML you need to make sure that you double quote uh, your options so for example uh, this image path here is double quoted and the height of the message is also double quoted as long as you follow those rules uh, you should be fine and that is how you edit the email <laughs>